Okay, another way to solve percent problems is by using proportions. The reason that this works is because all percent problems can be written as a fraction. Remember that a proportion is just simply two ratios or two fractions that are set equal to each other. And then we cross multiply and divide to find the answer. So as I read this problem, I see what number is 47% of 280. Well, I know my first fraction is going to come from my 47%. I just rewrite that as a fraction, 47 over 100. And I'm going to say that that is equal to, I'm going to put my fraction line there. Well, I know that 47 is part of 100. So on this side, I have part to a whole. That means I have to set up my other fraction the same way. I will have part of my number on top. I will have the whole number on bottom. So I need to go back and reread my question. Did they give me part of the number? Or did they give me the entire number and I'm looking for part of the number? It says, what number is 47% of 280? Well, I, I will always take the percent out of the whole number. That means that 280 has to be my whole, and I am looking for my part. So I will put X on top and 280 on bottom. And now I'm ready to cross multiply and divide. When I multiply 47 times 280, I get 13,160. And that's going to be equal to 100 times x, which is 100x. To get x by itself, I'll need to divide both sides by 100. Remember, dividing by 100 is like moving the decimal place, just moving it twice to the left, because the number is going to get smaller if I'm multiplying. That means x is going to be equal to 1, 3, 1.6. 131.6 is the number that is 47% of 280. This is using proportions. Proportions are nice because you don't have to change your answer to a percent later. If you're looking for a percent and you use a proportion, you're going to get a percent as your answer. In this case, we were not looking for a percent. We were just looking for part of a number. Okay, to set up a proportion, First, let's read the question. If there are 16 girls in a class of 30, what percent of the students are girls? Just remember that you can always write your percent as a fraction. So because we're looking for a percent, I'm going to write it as x over 100. Because all percents can be written over 100. I don't know what this particular percent is, so I'm going to represent it with an x. And then I'm going to set it equal to my other fraction that's in the reading. And you'll find it right here. If there are 16 girls in a class of 30, well, my proportion is going to be 16 over 30. Remember that this is part to whole, and this is part to whole. I just have to make sure that I set up my proportion to where like things are grouped together. Well, once I have a proportion, it's just time to cross, multiply, and divide. 16 times 100 is 1,600. 30 times x is 30x, and when I divide both sides by 30, I discover that my that x is equal to 53.3 repeating, and that's a percent. The nice thing about solving with a proportion is, is that whatever answer I get, if I'm looking for a percent, because of the way the problem is set up, my answer will be a percent so that I don't have to move that decimal point. When I solve using an equation, remember, I have to move that decimal point. Okay, so let's look at setting up a proportion when I'm missing a number instead. Here I have 41 is 25% of what number? Remember that this 25%, of course, can be written as 25 over 100, which gives me my first ratio, my first fraction for my proportion. I will set it equal to Again, it's part to whole, so I need to decide, am I looking for part of a number or am I looking for the whole number? Well, remember, when I take a percent of a number, the number that I'm taking the percent out of is my whole. And therefore, I'm going to, going to represent my whole with an x. 
That means 41 is part of the number. 41 is part of whatever number I'm looking for. It's 25% of whatever number I'm looking for. And so it's time to cross, multiply, and divide. 41 times 100 is 4100. And that's going to equal 25 times x, which is 25x. So I'm going to divide both sides by 25, and I will discover that x is equal to 164. Now, I was looking for a number this time, not a percent. And so this is the answer. x is equal to 164. 41 is 25% of 164.